Well, the jury was warned to keep their emotions in check today as they heard opening statements in the Cipriano murder trial. Oh, Monday, Tucker Cipriano pleaded no contest to avoid putting his family through a trial, but today it was co-defendant Mitchell Young who put his fate in the hands of a jury, accused in the brutal beating death of Robert Cipriano. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner has been following this case from a Pontiac courtroom. He has more. Even a usually dry opening statement in this case made the courtroom go still. And he's got very bad head wounds. He appears to be deceased. Eventually, he is pronounced dead at the scene. That's the pain the family wanted to avoid, but brothers and other relatives. A Bob Cipriano hearing how he was beaten to death, his wife Rose and son Sal critically beaten, Rose and two other kids not hurt in the attacks are on the witness list. They do not want to testify. He says that Tucker attacks Mr. Uh, Cipriano with the baseball bat, starts beating him. And Mr. Young says to Mr. Cipriano, what are you doing? What are you doing? The prosecutor also telling the jury the evidence will show both young men had been kicked out of their homes, wanted to steal anything of value, smoked spice, now banned in Michigan, and they were headed to Mexico. The jury will also later hear Mitchell Young confessed. This will be a difficult test. There will be times when I would expect people will shed some tears. This trial could last a week, but shorter since only one young man is now on trial. At the Oakland County Courthouse, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Okay, Jim, thank you. Well, originally, Mitchell Young was supposed to go on trial with Tucker Cipriano. The two would have been tried together, but with separate juries. But on Monday, Tucker pleaded no contest to those charges. He faces life in prison when he's sentenced on July 9th. We're told Tucker will likely make a statement at that time.